Yo squad, what's happening? Pino E here. Today's new challenge is 1200 likes. We've destroyed 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100, and for today the goal is 1200. So stop what you're doing, click that thumbs up. Now that you've done that, let's take a quick look at tomorrow's drops. First up, we got the collaboration between Wings and Horns and Adidas Originals. The collab is made up of four pairs of kicks, including this pair up on screen of the NMD R2 coming dressed in a dark grey one-piece leather upper. Find them at the retailers up on screen for $190. The next pair in the collaboration is also based on the NMD R2 silhouette. This one here features an updated prime knit upper with additional ventilation throughout, coming in a soft grey shade. These will be available at the same locations, however the retail for this pair is set at $180. And last for the collection are the Wings and Horns Adidas Campus 80. The two pairs feature a deconstructed aesthetic and are constructed from premium leather in a dark navy or light grey colorway with additional stitching serving as the side panel 3 stripe branding. Find them at the same retailers as the NMDs with the retail price of $160. Nike has a few pairs of the Vapor Max planned for tomorrow, and first up, we have the Nike Air Vapor Max Asphalt. Dropping in both men's and women's sizing for $190 retail, the pair comes built in a dark grey fly knit upper with tonal stitching throughout. These will be available on the sneakers app and at most Nike sportswear retailers. The Nike Air Vapor Max Pale Grey is next, and if you're looking for this pair, then heads up because they won't be as widely available. From what I was able to find, it looks like these may only be available on Nike.com and the Sneakers app, in both men's and women's sizing, for $190. Next up, we have the Nike Air Vapor Max Oreo, and this pair's dope. The pair also drops tomorrow at 7 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m. Eastern, and these will be a Nike Lab exclusive, dropping at global Nike Lab locations, along with Nike.com slash Nike Lab. Retail price on these, like the rest, is set at $190. One last Vapor Max to talk about, and it's these up on screen, coming in a white fly knit upper with hits of ice blue on the tongue and the dynamic fly wire. These are dope as well, and they're a double exclusive. What's a double exclusive, right? Because I just made that up. They're a women's exclusive and a Nike Lab exclusive. That makes them a double exclusive, and they drop tomorrow for $190. And last up for tomorrow's drops, we have the Supreme Nike Air More Up Temple Pack. These three pairs all drop tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific or 11 a.m. Eastern, exclusive to the Supreme website only, with a retail price of $180 each. I get asked a lot, what are my chances to cop? How long will it take until they sell out? Well here, take a look at last week's drops on the Supreme website. A sweater took 16 seconds. It took 16 seconds for every sweater in that one style to be added to cart, Payment info added, shipping info added, and checkout completed. So yeah, you have a chance, it's just a real shitty one, but good luck. Time for some sneaker news, and we're going to start with the Reebok Alien Stomper Final Battle Pack. Inspired by the epic final battle scene, the Alien Stomper is featured in a special two colorway pack, in one yellow and black striped colorway inspired by Ripley's Power Loader robotic cargo suit, and the other in a glossy finish referencing the Xenomorph Queen. If you're a fan of the movie, then this is a must for you. It's definitely not a must for me, but if you like them, then they drop on July 18th as a pack for $325. Over to Adidas, and let's start off with the Adidas EQT Support RF Prime Knit that's dropping on May 1st in two colorways. The first pair comes in a frozen green, core black, and easy green colorway, and the other in a white, core black, and off-white colorway. Both pairs are built as a one-piece Prime Knit upper sitting on an EVA midsole. They also both drop on May 1st at select Adidas retailers along with Adidas.com for $160 retail. And last for Adidas, we have the official images of the Adidas Pure Boost DPR Multicolor. With this new model, the upper is built using a knitted mesh that allows for breathability. The colorway is multicolor and it sits on a white mid and black outsole. Now about the multicolor, I know that this is subjective and it's going to be purely my opinion which some might agree with and others might disagree with, but I don't like it. Nike pioneered the multicolor look when they introduced fly knit, and it's dope. It looks multicolor and the colors really pop out of the shoe. But when you compare it side to side with how Adidas chose to implement it, the Adidas look isn't a good one. And this goes for the 3.0 Ultra Boost as well. I feel like the colors that Adidas chose are just too dark and it makes it look almost brown. Just my thoughts, but let's move on. 
Over to Nike now, and first up, we have some new looks at the Nike Air Foam Posit Pro Tech Fleece. And for the first time ever, Nike chooses to wrap the foam posit shell in a full dark gray tech fleece. Now, this one's kind of weird to me, not because of the shoe, but because of the timing, since Nike's planning to drop these on June 5th for $230. June, summer, and fleece don't go together for me, but I don't buy foam, so it really doesn't make a difference. Next up, we have Nike SB's latest offering covering the Nike SB Dunk High in blue tones. For this pair, Nike SB chose to go with a mixed construction of leather and suede, with the suede coming in an obsidian blue and the leather in a lighter industrial blue. The Nike branding gets painted white along with the midsole and it all sits on a gum bottom. If you like these, you can actually find them now at select Nike SB retailers for $100. And last for Nike, we have a first look at the Air Max 95 Metallic Gold. Just like the Silver Bullet Pack, you can expect the Metallic Gold Pack to drop on the Air Max 97, the Air Max 95, and the Air Max Zero Silhouettes. This pair drops on May 18th for $160. Over to Jordan Brand, and first up, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low GS PRM Eris, aka White Frost. This pair drops the patent leather mudguard, replacing it with a synthetic croc skin-like texture. The shoe colorway comes in a white upper with a white mid and a translucent white outsole. Although we can't see it on this picture, there is also a touch of platinum, with a touch of pink on the tongue branding. The pair is a GS exclusive, and good news to anyone who fits in extended sizing, because these will be available in sizes up to a 9 and a half youth. As for the price, it says PRM, so that means you have to pay the heiress tax. Retail is set at $175. Make sure you stay tuned for more images. And last up for today, we have the Black Cement Air Jordan 3, which is rumored to be dropping All-Star Weekend 2018. Just to be clear, I haven't confirmed this info myself, but it does come from Soul Heat on Feet, who has a good track record, so I'm comfortable repeating it today. The colorway is classic, I'm not going to spend any time talking about that, but they will come with Nike Air on the heel. Now this doesn't surprise me at all, 2018 is the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 3, so we should expect these and a bunch of other colorways throughout the year. Also, I think Saturday is going to be a double upload kind of day. If you want to know more of what's expected in 2018, make sure you check it out. Oh yeah, retail for these will be $220. And that does it for today's video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.